Maayo na adlaw po sa atong tanan. The city of Masbate is located at the center of the Philippine archipelago with a land area of 18,996.95 hectares with a total population of 95,389. The city of Masbate is known for its eco-parks and environment-friendly tourist attractions. It is also famous for its Lapay Bantigi Festival and also the venue for the Rodeo Masbateño. Masbate City is also known as the City of Hearts for its kind and hospitable people. The city of Masbate has 30 barangays and one of it is Barangay Malinta which is the center of the upland barangays. It has a land area of 1,803.146 hectares and a population of 5,149. It is also known as the land of beauty and bounty for its heartwarming people and abundant agricultural resources. For 2021, Malinta recorded five index crimes and one non-index crime. It has a total of 99 blattered cases. The Lupon of Malinta plays a significant role in maintaining the peace and order of its barangay through the operation of the Katarungang Pambarangay. It renders speedy justice for conflict of community members either through mediation, conciliation, or arbitration without going to court. For the year 2021, all cases were settled through mediation. The chairman of the Lupong Tagapamayapa of Malinta is Honorable Benjamin D. Lim Jr., a second-termer Punong Barangay. Lupon members who are known for probity and impartiality also played a vital role in the success of Katarungang Pambarangay implementation. There are 10 Lupon members. In the observance with the Magna Carta of Women, 5 or 50% members are women. The Katarungang Pambarangay through the Lupong Tagapamayapa is an integral part of the government strategy in preserving peaceful relations in the community, recognizing the Filipino tradition of amicably resolving conflicts among family and members of the community. Malinta Lupon has its own KP office, equipped and conducive in settling disputes. In anticipation of the needs of mothers, the Lupon office is a mother and child-friendly facility. There is a baby crib which can be used by the KP clients and a breastfeeding corner for lactating mothers. In 2021, a total number of 65 cases were recorded in which a total of 20 cases or 30.80% are criminal cases and 45 or 69.20% are civil cases. One of the highest cases in KP is oral defamation. Alam mo ba Lisa na maraming hindi nakapagbabayad ng utang ngayon sa microfinance? Oo nga, balita ko nga si Ate Edna hindi pa rin nakakabayad ngayon. Alam mo ba Ed, narinig ko doon, nag-uusap sila, pinag-uusapan ka na, hindi ka doon nakapagbayad sa microfinance. Totoo ba yun? Teka lang! At pupuntahan ko sila. Uy, Mary Kim, totoo ba yung pinagsasabi nila, pinag-uusapan niya ako? Uy, hindi ah! Ah, ganun ba? Sa barangay nila tayo magkita-kita! If there is a complainant or any client in the barangay, strict compliance on the minimum public health standard is really observed. The barangay secretary facilitates the complainant in accomplishing the prescribed KP forms and verifies the receipt of the payment of 100 pesos as filing fee. If the complainant is indigent, they can file a KP case for free. After the KP case was filed, serving of summons to the respondents and notice of hearing to the complainant is being done by the tanod in charge for the day. Ang araw po, dito po nakatira si Lisa at saka si Mary Jane. Opo. Uh, meron po kayong summons. Nakalagay po dito ang araw at pizza at oras kung saan kayo maghaharap ng invitation hearing sa barangay hall. At nandito rin po ang Xerox copy ng complainant record sa barangay at ang Xerox copy ng Lupon Policy kung saan nakasaan dito ang mga nagpatakaran sa loob ng invitation room. Kung pwede po ma'am pakipirma po lang po dito sa atin dito kung nalaman na para ma-receive nyo na ang summons. The summon server ensures that the actual respondents receive the summons. When the respondent is not available, the summon server comes back until the actual respondent receives it. The summons is served within the day after the case is filed. The Punong Barangay talks with the respondent and complainant separately to know the actual cause of the problem and to assess the possible solution. Para mas mapabilis ang pagsaayos ng alitan ng dalawang partido, 
kami ay nag-iisip ng mga kakaibang pamamaraan. Bukod sa aming pre-mediation techniques, meron din kaming mga settlement techniques na nakakapabilis ng pagkakanawaan at pagbabalik ng loob ng complainant at respondent. Kabilang po dito ay ang mga sumusunod. Una, pre-mediation hearing. Tinatalaga ko ang isang lugod para magkaroon ng pag-uusap sa complainant at respondent. Pagkatapos ng pag-uusap, nagbibigay ng feedback ang lupon sa akin at mayroon na akong ideya kung paano i-facilitate ang pag-aayos. Ito ay ginagawa lamang sa ilang kaso na medyo komplikado para masiguro na maaayos agad ang kaso sa unang hearing pa lamang. Pangalawa, conduct complete investigation. Nagbibigay ito ng malalim na pagkunawa sa dahilan ng alitan. May mga kaso kasing na-file pero pag naimbestigahan ng maayos may ugat pala yung kaso na yon na trigger lang pero may mas na unang di pagkakaintindihan Pangatlo, common friends third party Sinasangkuni ang parehong kakilala o kaibigan ng dalawang partido na pumagitna o magbigay ng advice at mahikayat na magayos Pangapat, chilling out or giving of refreshment. Panglima, prayers, pray over. Isang napakalakas na instrumento para makondisyon ang isip at saluubin ng dalawang panig na magkayos. Pang-ani, setting rules. Policy, sinasabay na po namin ang aming mga pulisiya sa paghahatid ng summons para malaman na po nila ang aming mga patakaran. Pagdating naman sa paghuhusay, mediation, pinapaliwanag po ulit namin ito. Pangpito, sharing life experience. Pangwalo, laughter and sense of humor para ma-ease out ang tension. Diba? Once the complainant and respondent agreed to settle, the Punong Barangay facilitated the signing of amicable agreement in prescribed KP4. All cases took one day to settle. Creativity and innovation in the implementation of Katarungang Pambarangay is pivotal to its success in conflict resolution. The constant desire of the lupo to be equipped with or enhance their knowledge, skills, and attitude and to continuously innovate lead to the speedy resolution of conflicts filed in the lupo office. Thus, they conducted capacity building and attended trainings, benchmarking, and radio programs sponsored or provided by either the city government of Masbate, the Office of the Alternative Dispute Resolution, and the DALG. The benevolence of both government and private sectors also contributed to the successful operation of the KP process. Isang mapagpalang pagbati sa ating lahat, lalong-lalo na sa mga bumubuo ng lupong tagapamayapa, incentive awards, validators. Ako po ay taos pusong nagagalak at nagpapasalamat sa pagkakataon na ang Barangay Malinta ay mapabilang sa isang prestigyosong paligsahan tungkol sa katarungang pambarangay. Ito ay isang pagpapatunay na ang Barangay Justice System dito sa aming barangay ay tumatalima sa mga tamang alituntunin at pamamaraan upang may sakatuparan ng maayos ang mga problema na dinudulog sa barangay. Ang bawat problema ay agarang nabibigyan ng kaukulang solusyon sa dahilan ng aming iba't ibang best practices ina-apply sa paglutas ng iba't ibang kaso. Mayroon din po kaming mga membro ng lupon na may mataas na katungkulan sa aming reliyong kinaaniban na kung saan sila na mismo ang nag-aayos ng sigalot ng kanilang mga kapanalik dahil naniniwala po ang barangay na kapag magkapareho ang kinaaniban na reliyon, madaling magpagkasundo ang bawat panik. Dumudulog din kami sa iba't ibang ahensya ng pamalaan upang humingi ng tulong sa mga problemang idinudulog sa barangay dahil naniniwala po kami na mas makakabuti ang pag-aayos ng partikular na problema kung tayo ay magsasangguni sa ahensya na mas makakalam kaysa sa amin. Bago po ako magtapos ng aking mensahe, nais ko pong ipaabot ang aking pasasalamat sa Office of the Alternative Dispute Resolution sa lahat ng pagsasanay na ipinagkaloob sa mga membro ng lupon sa barangay at pagbibigay ng technical na assistance tungkol sa justice system. Dahil po sa inyong pagtsagsaga upang kami ay matuto ng lubusan ay may magandang naitulong at naidulot 
ito sa amin. Sa muli, maraming maraming salamat po. To God be the glory.